Hi everyone, this is presentation of the capstone project which finalizes natural language processing and ML operations workshop uh, conducted by aggregate intellect. Um, before I will go to the presentation itself, I will take a few moments to introduce our team. So myself, Ildar, uh, I have trained the baseline model, developed model serving API and deployed the entire application. While Chris have developed UI for the application and packaged all components into the Docker containers. Now let's pass to the problem that our capstone project aims to solve. Um, many businesses gather a lot of feedback, feedback information about their product and services in the form of reviews and comments. Proper analysis and understanding of such feedback may help companies gain competitive advantage by understanding customers' needs and concerns better. So the problem with analysis with the problem with analyzing uh, customer reviews is that businesses may have a lot of reviews coming from a large customer base. Plus, every review could be quite long, which makes this analysis impossible to perform by just reading each and every review. This is why text summarization might come into rescue. Um, in a nutshell, uh, text summarization produces a lot of uh, shorter textual representations over bigger chunks of text. Now, let's look at the data first. Uh, we used Amazon product reviews data set, which has two columns, one for original review and another one for its shorter version, actually its summary. Uh, we have implemented and used a standard sequence-to-sequence -sequence approach with attention to tackle text summarization problem. Uh, at a very high level, this model works in the following way. Uh, original text is being encoded by first uh, extracting word embeddings for every word in that text and uh, generating its hidden representation. This representation is then being passed to the decoder which produces summary text. The attention mechanism helps the decoder uh, which word to attend in the original text. As for the application packaging and deployment, um, the application architecture is made of two services. Uh, these two services are talking to each other. And uh, the first service is a UI service, and the second one is um, summary generating API, now, which accepts requests, uh, uh, real users' requests that are uh, coming from, from the UI. So we have packaged and pushed two images of that services to the container repository. Then after spinning up AWS instance, uh, we have pulled that images and started containers on that instance. Um, this uh, slide shows a uh, few instructions if you want to deploy the entire application yourself. Uh, just a little note, make sure that you have your Docker engine installed before, before executing that, uh, that commands. Alternatively, if you want to access already deployed uh, application, you can uh, follow the link provided below. So uh, next I will show a short demo of how this application works. Please stay tuned. Okay, so we're at the page that prompts user to enter their review and submit it. Uh, upon submission, the application processes text and returns, returns a summarized version of the original review. Um, now let's just play with, with it by entering a few random reviews and uh, let's see how it will work. So here I'm entering first positive review, which says I like coffee here. Uh, we're submitting it and waiting for the feedback. Okay, the feedback basically says that the coffee is delicious, which which uh, matches with the sentiment of the original review. Now, let's try uh, the negative one. Here 
Here we have the next review, which says coffee here smells bad and tastes is awful. Now let's look what machine learning model will say. Okay, so uh, the generated summary of the original review is this worst taste I have ever tasted, which again uh, matches with the negative sentiment. 